Good morning, guys. We are in Pensacola, Florida today. We are gonna do some bridge fishing. Uh, hopefully, sheep's head are around. Uh, that's the targeted species. Uh, we've got live fiddler crabs for bait today. We're gonna be using uh, frisky fins jigs and uh, some light sheep's head rigs too. So, uh, got the old town ready to go. We're gonna launch here, scoot over to the bridge and get started. Just do a quick drop right here. Golly, what the fudge hill was that? My God. What, what just happened? My God. I had that drag lock down too. <laughs> Holy cow. I was not expecting that. That caught me off guard. Ah. Got him. No. Mm. Got him. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Good one. Good one. Heck yeah. Woo! Yeah! Heck yeah. Got him. Frisky fans jig. Oh, that's definite keeper there. All right. Let's bleed them. Let's get the jig out first. Where's my pliers? Here we go. Woo! Barely. Right in the lip. There we go. Got him. Let's try in there. Jeez, come on. This is brutal. Got one. <sighs> Damn, that was a big son of a gun. Well, the bad news is that was the last bite of the day, but the good news is I got a big fat sheep's head to take home and cook for you guys. So uh, let's head back to the house, get the fish cleaned, and uh, hit the kitchen. All right, guys, we got the sheeps and drum here from the other day. Uh, this one was from my first trip to uh, I-10, and then those others are from uh, Lillian Bridge. Uh, so, we're going to do sheep's head first. Uh, got my sword serrated, cut through these nasty heavy scales. So, get through there like that. 
a little cut. Once I got that, I'm just gonna start working my way down through the skin. All right, now I got my new really flexible sword knife. I love this. It's going to work really good on these. So it's going to get underneath that skin and go along the bone line. See how sharp that is. this going let's get the let's get this skin there I'm a lefty so I gotta do everything backwards there we go all right okay now we can start working down okay you can see that backbone See the backbone there? Kind of go over it. Then you get down underneath it. We're to the ribs here in the pin bones. So, I have to like that. Get this all the way down to the stomach cavity. Me. There's the ribs. Okay. Wasn't the most efficient, but we got most of the meat off of there. So we're going to take this. That's when this flexible thin blade comes in handy. There we go. You can see how small that bloodline is because I bled them. So, yep. We'll do the other side. Uh, take this in and get it ready for some ceviche. All right, guys. We are going to be making some ceviche with the sheep's head today. Uh, I've got a killer recipe from Tanner Dees. Uh, you might know him from Dauphin Island Fishing Report or The Fever. But uh, we've got the sheep's head fillets all cleaned. And man, they're beautiful. Look at that meat. It's just white, no bloodline, uh, good looking meat. So first step is we're going to dice up into little small pieces the sheep's head. So let's get that done first. All right, got my brand new knife from Sword. Super sharp, love this knife. All right, let's get to dice. All right, all done. Start out with three lemons and three limes. Squeeze them into here, see how much juice we got. And then we're gonna do half of a grapefruit. Give a little bit unique flavor to this ceviche. So, that's what we're left with. We're gonna get our fish out. We're just gonna take this juice, we're gonna pour it in, and make sure all the fish is covered. All right, all right, all that's covered. Now put that in the fridge, let it sit for at least three to four hours. All right, I know you guys don't wanna sit here and watch me chop vegetables for 20 minutes, but we've got red onion, mango, avocado, 
jalapeno pepper, chili pepper, and sweet peppers. And tomatoes. So, I'm going to take all those and... Isn't that better than sitting there watching me dice up a bunch of vegetables? Okay, so now we're just... Uh, we got to wait on the sheep's head to cook in the citrus and uh, then I'll get back with you. All right guys, you can see the fish has turned white. Looks like it's been cooked. So now we are going to add our vegetables in here. Go ahead and dump everything in. Got our cucumbers. Got our chili peppers and our jalapeno peppers. Got our red onions. Mango. Tomatoes. And avocado. So now we're gonna mix everything up because we're gonna let this soak for a while too in the juice. And we got a few more lemons and stuff over there. If uh, need to add a little bit more. Let's see, I think it's pretty, pretty much up to the top. Just gotta push it down. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put a little bit more, a little bit more in there. There we go. Now we're covered for sure. All right, now we're gonna let those vegetables soak in there for a little while too. Put it back in the fridge for about an hour. Go ahead and put a little garlic. We'll stir that in. And just a little slap your mama. There we go. All right. All right, put that back in for about an hour. And then we'll try it. All right, guys, moment of truth. It's been sitting in the fridge for about an hour with the vegetables. Looks really good. And uh, can't have ceviche without my favorite chips. Old Florida gourmet tortilla chips. These are the best chips I think I've ever had. All right, so let's put the chips up. Stir it up a little bit. All right. Thing on there. Mm. Mm. That was really good. Oh yeah. This is gonna be my dinner. Recipe is really simple, easy to make. I mean, you can do this just about any saltwater fish. Uh, sheep's head is just such a good fish, though. It's got a little sweetness to it. It's firm. I love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, hope you try out the ceviche. 
good stuff. And uh, tight lines. I'll see you guys on the next one.